The stained glass window below is a semicircle. What is the distance around the window to the nearest hundredth of an inch? Use pi equals 3.14. Circle the letter of the correct answer. So for this problem, since we're finding the distance, that means we have to use circumference instead of area. Uh, so we recall that the formula to find the circumference is c equals pi times diameter. And we don't need to convert this to pi times 2 times radius because they already gave us the diameter, which is 26 inches. So we'll just go ahead and write c equals pi times 26. Even though the problem told us to use pi equals 3.14, I would like to do that at the end just to avoid any um, small error in the process of solving the problem. Okay, so now that we find the circumference of the whole circle, we have to find one half of the circumference because this part is only one half of the circumference. And I can just write one half C equals one half pi times 26. Basically, I'm applying the uh, multiplication property of equality here, and it helps me to simplify the expression quickly. So one half of the circumference equals pi times 13, because one half of 26 is 13. Now the next step is to find this part, which they already gave to us, so that means we just need to add one half of the circumference and the diameter together to find the distance. So pi times 13 plus 26 equals 3.14 times 13 plus 26. And if we put everything in the calculator, we will get 66.82. And since this is distance, the unit should be inches. And we can see that the answer is B. This problem also says Ari chose D as the correct answer. How did he get the answer? So if we were to actually multiply um, 26 and pi in the beginning, we see that we will get 81.64. If we take this number, which is the whole circumference, and the 26, and we add these two numbers together, we will get the wrong answer, which is 107.64. So that means Ari didn't divide the circumference by 2, because it should be a semicircle, not a full circle.